So addiction is fundamentally a brain disease. It results in changes that occur within the structure of the brain that are manifested in a functional way and behaviors, the hallmark feature of which is the compulsive seeking and use of drugs in spite of negative consequences. Uh, addiction occurs um, because of repeated exposure of the brain to different addictive substances. Um, that includes things like nicotine, alcohol, as well as illicit drugs like heroin, uh, cocaine, or methamphetamine, and also certain prescription drugs are addictive. Um, we are talking a lot recently about prescription opiates and their um, addictive properties. So there is a basic misunderstanding, I think, about addictive disorders. Um, most people don't really know that repeated exposure to addictive drugs actually changes the brain in a fundamental way. That this change leads to the hallmark feature of addiction, which is the compulsive use of drugs of abuse in spite of negative consequences. The assumption is that the addicted individual is rational, that the addictive individual is capable of choice, that of course uh, the non-addicted person understands that if somebody uses that drug there's going to be big consequences, so why can't that person understand that? Um, but addiction doesn't work like that. It's not that that person lacks moral fortitude. It's not that that person just is weak. It's that that person's brain is fundamentally different and operates in a different way than someone who is not addicted. So their overriding desire is to seek and take their drug of choice, the drug that they're addicted to. Um, and it is extremely difficult for them, particularly when they are actively involved in their substance use, to be able to take that moment to stop themselves and to um, think through that choice and take a different path.